I'm going to play the Milk Cow Blues. This is a song in the key of A and it follows a 12 bar blues pattern, the same as Hound Dog, which you'll find on one of my other videos here. Um, I'm using the same three main chords, A, D and E, um, but this time I'm going to play them with uh, different fingers on the positions and using slightly less strings, which is going to free up fingers up above to do some extra stuff. So A is now going to look like this. I'm just going to play the three strings A, D, and D. And, sorry, that's A, D, and G. Um, and it's going to look like that. D, I'm going to play with two fingers, and I'm just going to use uh, the D, G, and B strings this time. And for the E chord, I'm just going to use one finger as well. Looks quite like A, but this time I'm covering the E, A and D strings for that shape. Okay. Now the reason for this is to free up um, your other fingers to add some bits on top. I'm just going to try and get this in. I'm not getting anything doing here to show you. So when I'm playing A there, I'm going to use my third finger and add it on and off at the fourth fret on the D string there. Okay. Then use the same trick on the D shape and add it on and off on the G string. And the same trick on the new E shape and add it on and off on the A string. Okay. They all follow the same rhythm. I'm going to put that finger down. This is the third finger on the fourth fret. I'm going to put it down on the second beat and the fourth beat and it's going to sound like this. So that's an A, this is a D. Okay, so it's going down on strings you're playing, all doing strokes, and adding that third finger doing on the fourth fret on beats two and four to give you this kind of very famous blues sounding rhythm guitar effect.